So yesterday, I was putting some outfits together. And my daughter had just gone to bed. And I was in my closet. And I was moving things around. And I must have disturbed a lot of dust because all of a sudden I start sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. I must have sneezed like 10 times in a row. And then I went in to kiss my daughter goodnight. And she was very concerned. She was worried. She looks at me with these big eyes and she, she thought maybe I was sick. Maybe I had it. And I said, no, I just, dis I just disturbed some dust. But for the past couple weeks, it's March. There's, I'll show you. It's springtime outside. See? The trees are starting to bud and there's a lot of pollen in the air. And I have very mild seasonal allergies. So I wake up and I have a slightly scratchy throat and... I sneeze a couple times and every morning I think, oh my God, I'm going to die because I think maybe I have it. And my daughter's been the same way and my husband's been the same way and we're not really worry warts. Have you been having these kinds of feelings too? I think millions of people have that kind of scaredness. And you know what? That's normal. And millions of us are all in it together. And I think a lot of us have this, like, we know we don't have it because we haven't gone anywhere. We haven't seen anybody. We haven't touched anything that we hadn't touched a month before. But still, it's, it's, it's super scary. So today I want to talk about lung health. Some of you might know that my first career was playing the French horn. It's a big brass instrument. I'll show you in another video. I'm going to show you some breathing exercises that were taught to me when I first started to take the horn seriously. Take a piece of paper. Make a tube. Make a tube. You can also take the body of your recorder, it's also a tube. Since this has a little Vaseline, I'll just use the bottom part. Okay? And you put your lips around it, like that, and you're gonna breathe in for four, out for four. In for two plus two, out for two plus two. In for one plus one plus one plus one, out for four ones. In for eight small ones, out for eight small ones. And then you reverse it. Okay, so let's just do that. I'll hold up fingers, four beats, two beats, one beat, half a beat. Okay, ready? Two, here we go. Feel a little lightheaded? Maybe like, ooh, that's good. You want to do these exercises over and over again until your lung capacity is so high that you don't feel lightheaded. If you're a brass player, a woodwind player, flute players love this activity because it really increases your lung capacity. That and the exercise is fabulous. Here's another one. We're going to do a uh, a sip. So what we're going to do is we're going to cow breath in because we're going to cow breath in. You can feel the air just rushing in the back of your throat. Cow breath in and then you're going to sip air in for 20 seconds. Ready?
and let it out. Now we're going to sip air in for 20 seconds and then you're going to hold it until your lungs burn. Ready for that? Until they feel like they burn. Now my lungs are pretty well developed so my lungs might burn later than yours. Let it out when you feel that, when you feel a burn. Okay? Ready? Set. Here we go. That was 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds of sipping in, and that was 40 seconds of holding. So altogether, you didn't breathe for a whole minute if you were able to stay up with me. Now take your recorder and let's put it together. Remember, this square is the block, the rectangle is the block. You've got the holes in the, in the front. They're sort of lined up, but not exactly evenly. Try to line up the block with the holes in the front. It looks like that. Okay. Left hand on top, that's the hand over here, but it's opposite with you because we're a mirror. Chin position. Feel the back hole with your thumb. Don't look, just feel it. Cover that hole completely with your thumb and make sure you get that first hole. All right, now try to get the second hole and the third. Now just gently, so these can come back down just above, right? Now this time we're going to do cow breath in, sip in for 20 seconds. Then we're going to play as many times as we can. That's one. And I have some background music for you, all right? So we're going to sip in for 20 seconds. And then we're going to play. We'll see if we can play for 60 seconds. I don't know if I can. I haven't tried this yet. about 30 seconds. How'd you do? If you go on YouTube, and I'll try to put a link of this in the in the show notes, just go to a G major backing track. You could have blues, you could have soul. This was an Allman Brothers style uh, from Discover Guitar Online. Dis, uh, Discover Guitar Online. That's their page. So good luck with increasing your lung capacity, with playing your recorder, with the best lung capacity you can possibly have, getting a really nice sound, this isn't easy. You can do it with your mouthpiece with a brass instrument, just buzz. You can do it with your uh, head joint on a flute. You can do it with your mouthpiece on a, with a double reed on a, for a bassoon or an oboe or an English horn. You can do it with a mouthpiece for clarinet. Just try to hold that note, hold that note, hold that note. 
and see if you can increase your lung capacity, which is really increasing your lung health. And don't forget to exercise every single day. See you later.